JTEC oxygen sensors have some unusual situations. We're looking at a situation here where we just turn the key on and voltage is over one and a half volts on our lab scope. Now this is a normal situation. JTEC PCMs apply a five volt bias to the O2 sensor that is only present when the sensor is cold. The lab scope we're using is changing the voltage that should be present, that would normally be there. I know, they are wonderful, but they don't do everything. We can only see the actual voltage when we use an enhanced OBD2 scan tool. We'll give you a quick view here. Here's a scan tool we're looking at. Now let's take a look at two levels. At the 1.69, the lab scope is connected. We did this so you could see it. Then we disconnected the lab scope, and it goes up to 4.76 volts. Yes, they're wonderful, but they do have effect. On a generic scan tool, it shows up as one volt. We have to run it for quite a while. Then we start seeing it act. Let's go back and look at our lab scope and watch a complete warm-up cycle. This is only going to take a couple minutes. We just turn the ignition on and we see it started and it's starting to run. And the next thing we're going to wait for is some sign of activity. But before we see activity, if you look carefully, you'll notice the green fuel control line is sloping downward. This is a test for the heat in the sensor. The voltage drops as the sensor warms up. This is exactly what we said is going to happen. This is very much like the test we do with the engine off. We pulse it with a 5 volt signal. Some activity starting, but we remember we're still stuck on a 5 volt scale because we were looking at a 5 volt scale. So let's look at it a while longer and we see a little bit of activity but we can't tell much about it. So what's happening here is we're letting it go through a normal warm up cycle you're seeing activity. But we had to start off on a 5 volt scale. We gotta wait till we got enough activity to change scales. And we can be doing it any time, but I want to give you a good feel for what it's going to look like. We're, not, we're seeing very small changes in level. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and talk about changing this scale and go down to a 1 volt scale so we can see normal activity. Now here's our 1 volt scale now we can see normal activity out of the oxygen sensor and do our normal measurements. So this should give you a good feel for what you're going to see. Now if you have a generic scan tool, now it would be reading normal voltages and the O2 sensor would look perfectly normal. So if you have a generic scan tool, just allow enough time for the system to operate in an, in, and it will come into view just like we're seeing here. We couldn't change the scales. Once you get it warmed up, you can start your normal things like snap accelerate and everything else. But remember something, until this is fully warmed up, it's going to have a bias toward the high voltage side. So don't be too quick to go start doing testing on JTEC until you know for sure the sensor is fully warmed up. Now we've done a number of snaps and if you'll notice, they're getting cleaner, sharper as it warms up. Give this thing time to warm up.